For years, the secret history of Minecraft's first villagers was a mystery. Until today! A museum? What's that doing in the middle of the jungle? Yeah, it looks abandoned. Imagine what secrets might be inside. It looks like this museum is showing us the story of the first villagers. But if we were going to learn all of their secrets, I'd need to take a closer look. Be careful, Steve. I'm reading some weird energy from this painting. Nonsense, Guido. It's going to be fine! No! Ugh. Wait. Where the heck am I? I was literally just in the museum! We've traveled back in time to the origin of the villagers as a species! Okay, cool, but where the heck are they? Good question! Let's go find them! Hey, check it out! There's a caveman villager right there! He's so curious! Ew, and uglier than normal! I didn't think that was possible! Steve? Don't worry, my language hasn't been invented yet! <sighs> Whatever you say! Wonder what else was going on during caveman times? Steve? What yeah. is the multiverse? Whoa, that was a close one! Hey, hold on a second, that's a sniffer! Those are extinct in the present, there's none of them left! Uh-oh. I think we've been followed. Oh, uh, uh, hi, guys. I, I I could see that you're in bad moods. Uh, is it because I called one of you ugly? It was Guido's idea. Hey! Uh, they really don't look happy with me. Uh, hey, I've got you some gifts. What about this nice daisy? You like flowers? Uh, I saw you staring at one. Uh, oh. Oh, he doesn't seem pleased. You give us some bread. Yeah, I, I, I've got bread. Everyone likes bread. Food. Mmm, caveman. Me love food. Uh... Yeah, I'm not really sure if he likes that or even knows what it is! Oh my gosh, we're trapped! We're cornered! Uh, okay, how about this? Uh, some nice fashion! Everyone loves fashion, even you guys! Not like you need my fashion advice, of course! Uh, they still look a little mad! And now he's just gonna kill you with style! Oh, man! Uh, um, oh, uh, the lightning rod! Uh, whoa! Hey, check it out, the camera won't be trusted! Oh, yeah, I see. Hey, you like fire? There's more where that came from. Yes. Guido, this is it. This is the start of villager civilization. Fire is going to change everything. It's going to keep them warm. It's going to help them find resources. And most importantly, it's going to help them cook food. Ah, one of life's greatest pleasures. Although, these guys seem only interested in dancing. Yeah, they really like the fire. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna wanna weed because any second now you could run out of energy. Let me show you guys how to hunt. Even the animals are ancient. Just look at the size of that chicken. Okay, you guys, show me what you got. Take out those animals. That's it. Get him. You got this. Uh, no, actually, I really don't think they've got this. I think we need a little more firepower. <sighs> okay, you know what, guys? Enough with the rocks. Enough with the rocks. I got this. I got this. Uh, watch carefully. All we have to do is take this thing. It's called a crafting table. Pay attention. Put this down right here. And then if you take some sticks and arrange the string like this, you've got yourself a bow. And here, take some arrows. Now, guys, listen to me. Even though you've got weapons, you should still treat these creatures with respect. Whoa, 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 hold on, guys, not so fast! Yeah, these guys can be dangerous! Just calm down, don't use all your arrows! Oh, they're not listening to me, they only care about food! Well, they've got a lot of meat now, but Guido, if you remember, there were some angry-looking mobs in that painting. Maybe those weren't normal creatures. Maybe they were predators! Guido, help me find out where that sound was coming from! Telescope form! Activate! Ah, they're heading straight for the village! And they look mad! Oh, they think because they've got the bows that they can take them! Oh, you guys aren't ready for this! Uh, instead of cheering, why don't you help me build some defenses? Come on! This right here is a tree! Now punch it down and help us build a wall! Yeah, they're getting closer! Don't worry, Guido, this, this wall's going well, I think! Uh, let me just check how secure it is. Uh, oh, come on, we missed this part! Yes, this wall is looking great! Come on, get down here, you first! And Hattie, here you go! Hattie? Well, I had to give him some kind of name. I think he's the leader. And now, brace for impact! The wall's holding strong! Now, archers, get up there and defend your village! And I guess we're going up too? I'm 
an adventurer, Guido. This is what I do. That's it. Keep going. We've almost got the guys. Just a few more shots. <sighs> okay. Now you guys can celebrate. Hattie declared that the village was safe. He was starting to become a real leader. But what he didn't know is that there was one more huge problem on the way. In the background of the painting was a comet. And before I could warn the caveman... Yep, there it is. Look, even Hattie is panicking. Yeah, because he doesn't know what to do. But don't worry, everyone. I've got an idea. But I'll need your help, Guido. Oh, boy. If we can seal up the roof of the village with something strong enough, we should be able to block the meteor. Okay, I know exactly what we need. Oh, my gosh, Guido. I forgot to mention that this might sting a little. Oh, I guess it's too late for that now. Well, they're still in the painting. I mean, the painting has changed and the predators are dead. And there's no comet, so maybe? I guess the only way to find out is to check the next painting. Wait, there's more to this story? Oh, that's got to be Guido. That can't have been it. Yeah, check it out. The villagers are still alive. But it looks like they're fighting with, a, with another tribe of villagers. A tribal war? Nuh-uh. There is no way we're going in there, Steve. It could be even more dangerous than last time. Look how scary that war is. Yeah, that is a lot of arrows. Kind of wishing I didn't teach them how to build bows. But if the villagers needed our help before, then they might need it again. We can't just let them die. Now, come on. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, this can't be the same village. Dude, they're so advanced now. And their wall is so much better than your wall. Hey. I actually think it was quite charming. And let me remind you, none of this would have happened if I didn't save them all from the meteor. So come on, I think we'll get free entry here. Uh, oh, who goes there? What, what, what do you mean? I, I, I literally saved you all. Yeah, what are we gonna do? We need to get inside to see what's changed. Don't worry, I can smooth talk my way out of this one. You know, you guys have really come a long way and it's really impressive that you've got your own language. Uh, hey, what's that over there? Look, in that direction, yeah, go, go, go. That was smooth talking? I'd like to see you try better. Wait, what the heck? <coughs> what's wrong with these guys? Oh, jeez. Guido, I'm not sure what's going on. But these villagers seem like they're really in trouble. Then we should find Hattie. You know what's going on. I mean, they can't be doing too badly because they've got diamond and emerald everywhere. But still, something is seriously, seriously wrong. Stay back, you guys. I'm warning you. Oof. Ow, what the heck is this? Stop, you fools. Don't you know who this is? <gasps> it's Hattie. That's right. I know this guy. Uh, wait, what are you two looking at? Is that... <gasps> That's me. Looks like we're kind of celebrities now, Steve. Hey, what's wrong, guys? You don't want an autograph? It is wonderful to have you back in our village, oh, great and mighty Steve. Great and mighty Steve. Oh, shut up, Guido. They love me. We are in grave danger, and we need your help once more. We've run out of food, you see. The village has plenty of gems around, but you can't eat an emerald. And there's absolutely no food around these parts anymore. We sent some of our bravest warriors away to find some, but they haven't come back. If they don't return soon, we're all done for. Yeah, that really sucks about the whole food thing. And trust me, I completely understand. But I will find those warriors. I promise you, Hattie. Now, come on, Guido, let's go. It was up to us to find the missing warriors and save the village. We searched high and low. Traveled far and wide. But I was starting to worry we were never going to find them when something unbelievable happened. Dude, no way, look! A sign of life! It looks like a campfire to me! Exactly, buddy! That's gotta be the warriors! Just wait until Hattie finds out that I rescued them! Maybe they'll make a second statue of me! Or one of me! Psh, I don't think so, Guido. You ain't got the face for it. Uh, what in the multiverse? It was a campfire! It was the den of the dragon! And it's being attacked! So we should probably get out of here, Steve! No way, Guido! If we help the dragon, it might help us find the villagers! Okay! Hey! Zombies! Pick on someone your own size! I mean, they are 
was small compared to the dragon, but it still worked. Huh? It was a mighty battle scene, but I have a question. Are dragons even friendly? Wait, what? What do you... Oh! Avalanche! No! Oh no! Oh, look out! Wait a second, dude, check it out! There's another village! Right below us! You realize we're still falling! Oh, no, 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 no! No! <laughs> uh, oh, hey! Hot, semi-naked villagers! Just what I wanted to see! We had escaped the dragon, and we were safe! Well, not that safe! Hey! This place isn't so bad. I mean, they've got pumpkins, they've got crops, they've even got animals. We certainly have evolved from the last time we saw them. So these guys must be the villagers we were looking for. But why stay here? Why not go back to Hattie? Hello, boys. They call me Scarface. I'm the leader of this village. And you don't belong here. What do you mean you're the leader? Hattie's the leader! She sent you guys to find food, but you didn't come back! So come on, pack your things, we're going back to Hattie! And <laughs> why would we do that exactly? We've got everything we need here, and we don't feel like sharing. Oh, have a heart, Scarface! The other villagers are starving! All they have are emeralds and diamonds! Diamond and emeralds, you say? Ha <laughs> ha Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, boys! Let's go take those gems for us! Oh, stay back! No! No! <laughs> the villagers carried us for miles, all the way back to where we came from. They were going to take our villagers' gems by force. How do you coward? We're here for your gems. You've got five minutes, and then we're coming to kill you all and take all your stuff. <laughs> uh, this isn't good, Guido. I've got to warn Hattie about this. There's no way he'll survive this attack. Eat up, boys. You've got a long battle ahead. Scarface laid out pumpkins. And that gave me a bright idea. If I can get back inside the village, those pumpkins are going to be super useful. Guido, cut my bindings. No! Thanks, buddy. Okay, now we'll grab the pumpkins. What are you planning to do with them? Oh, you'll see, Guido, and it's going to be vital to the story of the villagers. Now, they're still distracted, Guido, so we have a little more time here. To mine up the logs? Exactly, dude. We'll need as many resources as possible to make this mission a success. We'll just quickly turn these into some sticks. And, of course, a crafting table. And then, last but certainly not least, we'll make ourselves a couple of ladders. And now we should be able to climb straight over the wall. I'll just go to the left here where... Oh, uh, well, I was going to say where Scarface's men weren't going to be. But there's one on guard duty. And we need to distract him. Use the pumpkins. Okay, here goes nothing. Yeah! Come on, come on, come on. Please get distracted. Yes! Yes, he smelled the sweet scent of pumpkins. And now we can move in, provided no one else is looking around, and get ourselves inside of Hattie's village. Don't worry, buddy. I'm coming. There we go, and... Over the wall. Oh! Oh, thank the multiverse! <sighs> hey, look! Hattie's men! It seems like they're out of ideas! But I've got a plan! Listen up, everyone! I'm gonna show you all how to make an iron golem! I've got the pumpkins! You guys just need to find some iron blocks! They've got so many ores here, they must have some iron blocks somewhere! Uh -huh. Ah, yes, here we go. Now, you need to take these pumpkins and combine them with the iron blocks in a very specific shape. I, wait, I haven't even told you how to do it. No, stop. What are you doing? You're doing it wrong. But, uh oh. Oh, oh I'm going to be sick. Yeah, clearly that is not how you build an iron golem. And that's why you always listen to Steve. Now this guy is just running around causing chaos. There's got to be some way we can stop him. Yeah, but we haven't got time for this. Scarface's men are just outside. Get out here, Hattie. It looks like this was going to be a little harder than I thought. All you have to do is place the iron blocks like so. Pumpkin on top. And I'll take some shears, please. Huh. Thank you. And hey, presto. You've got yourself an iron golem. And I'm guessing he's going to deal with that other weird golem. He definitely dealt with him. And now we've got more pumpkins, which means more iron golems. They actually did it. They made the iron golems. Must be their first time discovering how to do it. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. That must 
must be Scarface. The battle's beginning. Now, where's Hetty? Don't worry, everyone. Our great wall should hold them off. Hey, how did you get in here anyway? Oh, I just used my ladder. Oh, my gosh. Guido. I forgot about the ladder. <laughs> It's begun, Guido! The villager versus villager war! Just like the one we saw in the painting! Which means we can still fix all of this! I've just gotta think how! Wait, look! Scarface and Hattie, they're going at it! <sighs> no, stop! There's gotta be a way to resolve all this! Your two villagers could help each other somehow! Um, uh, wait. I've got it! If one tribe has a lot of materials like diamonds and emeralds and iron, but not enough food, and the other tribe has a lot of food, but not many diamonds or emeralds, then maybe you could swap. You could give them some food, and you could give them some materials. You mean instead of just taking things we, uh, uh... Trade? Trade? That's a great word for it. Uh, here, let me try. That's it, give Hattie some food, and in return... Holy moly, how many emeralds does this guy have? Hey, that feels great. I love trading. Boys, from now on, we ain't fighters. We're traders. And that's how I, uh, I mean, the first villagers, invented trading. Hey, boss, we didn't come all this way to trade. We came to this village to pillage. If you want to keep on being violent, then go start your own civilization. All right, we will. And that's also how the first pillagers came to be. Dude, no way! That was awesome! Come on, let's see what happens next. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so cool. Wait, what is this? This next painting is about the evokers, which must be those guys. But... What in the multiverse is that? What the? This village is so much more advanced. It even looks more advanced than the villages we see in the Minecraft dimension today. Yeah, why are villages so basic now? Guess we've got to continue with the story to find out. And that means finding Hattie. Uh, hey there. Have you seen Hattie? And why is it raining so much? Yeah, the weather's really taking a turn for the worse. Hattie, where are you at, man? Uh... Oh my gosh, is that... is that him? Ew, he's so old now! Steve and Guido! My old friends, welcome back! Uh, hey Hattie, listen, has there been any trouble recently? Any, like, sea monsters or something of that kind? I'm afraid you're too late. We've already solved the problem. For a long time, we were suffering from a drought. Nothing but burning hot sun for months. All of our crops died and things kept catching on fire. We didn't know what to do, but it was then the wizard came. They offered to use magic to make it rain again in exchange for one small thing. Oh yeah? What was that? Your eyes! My eyes? Whoa, whoa, hold on, wait, wait, wait! I need those! To see! And do stuff! No, silly! Your statue's eyes! Oh. They used the lapis to channel their magic and poof! It began to rain! And just like that, they left. Hold on a second, they just left? Well, where did they go? Not sure. They said something about summoning the Kraken. But none of us know what that is, so we've just left them to it. Wait, the Kraken? What in the multiverse were you thinking? If they summon the Kraken near here, that could destroy the village, everything you've been working towards. Wait right here, Hattie. I'll save the village once again. You could have at least closed my door. There. Up ahead, Guido. It must be the wizards. Prepare to face your doom. Oh, never mind. It's just a normal villager. <laughs> Now that's probably the wizard. Yeah, I'll be right back, fisherman. Just keep doing what you're doing. But we were too late. The wizards had finished casting their evil spell. The lapis fired the wizard's magic into the sea, and what came out of it was our worst nightmare. They'd released the kraken, and it looked angry. Oh my gosh, this isn't good. The kraken is so big that it's causing the sea levels to rise up. We've got to tell Hattie about this. No, Guido, they don't have the defenses to take down the Kraken. It's on us, but don't worry, I've got an idea. So, yeah, I could really use your guys' help in taking down the Kraken. He's just over in that direction. Uh, I know we didn't really get off to the best foot because I called you evil wizards, but you know what? It's fine. We can move past this. Let me teach you how to make a catapult. This is what we've been waiting for, men. The Kraken is here. Now load the catapult. That's it. Fish up some ammunition. Looks like we've got some stone to start off with. All right, loading it up. And 
that didn't work. We need more ammo. Looks like we got some bread. Let's hope this is strong enough. The cannon's loaded up. I think you just made it mad. Oh, Hattie is gonna kill me. Come on, we need something big this time. He's caught something. And it's... Oh, sand. Yeah, there's no way this is gonna beat the Kraken. Uh... Wait, I borrowed this from Hattie when we were in the last village. Oh, how convenient. And that means when combined together, we can make ourselves the most devastating material known to the entire Minecraft dimension. We can build ourselves TNT. Let's send this Kraken out with a bang. Loading up. Down. And here's the next one. Gotcha. We did it, guys. Gosh, that was so awesome. Uh, oh, come on. This is going to go on forever. Every time we take down a tentacle, it gets replaced. Yeah, and there's not enough resources to keep doing this. I mean, I've got some snowballs. Maybe we can use those? Wait a second. That sounded like... <gasps> Look, we know it's the dragon from before. I knew it was a good idea to rescue them. What are you talking about? You told me not to. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do now, tentacle brains? Oh, yeah, that whole regenerating tentacle thing. Forget I said anything. Check it out! <laughs> the Kraken, it's finally gone. And the water is draining. My friends, you've saved the village again. Come with me. There's something special I want to show you. Oh, finally, a reward. After saving the villagers like three times, it's about time I got something. Wait, what's going on? No, not now! Oh, just when we were getting to the good part. Anyway, I guess that was the origin of the Evokers. And how they almost destroyed the entire Minecraft dimension. Yeah, but look, we did a real number on that Kraken. Heck yeah, we did, buddy! Uh, wait, do you smell burning? I can't smell stuff, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. Uh, oh. My. Gosh. So it looks like the final painting it represents the end times. Guido, I think Hattie is in danger. No! Wait! I've got my Guido glider! Thank you later, Steve. Thanks to you, Guido. The hero of the villagers is going to live to see another day. Wait a second. Speaking of the villagers, where are they? There's like no one around here and the place is pretty advanced so you'd expect someone to be operating all this machinery but the windmill isn't moving uh, wait there's still fires in the houses because the chimneys are letting out smoke it's almost like they're too afraid to come outside okay you know what let's go find Hattie he'll know what's going on we'll go back to the exact same building where he was before and we should find him inside on his trusty throne wait what dude Guido, are we too late? <gasps> what was that? I... I think it came from this coffin. Oh, hello, boys. Welcome back. What a pleasure it is to see you one last time. Uh, Hattie, what, what were you doing in that coffin? And why is everything so dusty and uncared for? Oh, well, I was just getting myself nice and ready for the end of the world, you see. That massive volcano's gonna blow any moment and cover the whole world with lava. But if I'm already snuggled up in my coffin, no one will have to bury me. Smart, eh? I, I, I guess. That is pretty smart. But there's one thing I don't understand. If you knew about the volcano, then why aren't you actively trying to stop it? Why did you just give up? Well, I put my best scientist on it. And she seemed to think there's absolutely nothing we could do. <sighs> there's always something you can do, Hattie. Uh, don't worry, don't give up hope, because the great and mighty Steve is here to save the day again. Yes, that's nice, boys. Good luck with that, and have a nice rest of your life. <sighs> Stopping a volcano. How hard could this be? Now let's see here. Oh, come on. Huh. And uh, seriously, that was it? That was the mighty volcano? Uh, actually, Steve, that's the mighty volcano. Ah, that makes sense. Well, Guido, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do when we're at the top, but it's up to us to save the Minecraft dimension once again. Uh, let's give it our best shot. <sighs> oh, hey there. Have you got directions for me? Up. 
yeah, I could have guessed that. How much further do we have to go? Oh, not again! What are you guys doing up here? Hello, strange spaceman who fell from the sky. How are you? Um, I'm doing pretty terrible. I mean, this volcano is about to erupt and kill everyone. But, uh, how are you doing? What are you doing up here? We have come to the mouth of the volcano to pray to it to leave us alone. Oh, that's pretty cool. But, um, has that ever worked before? Not even once. Then Guido, I guess it's up to us to solve the problem. This must be close to the modern day because they all look like normal villagers. So we have to solve this issue right now. Okay, how do you want to do it? Well, I have got these from earlier. Maybe I can just go ahead and freeze the lava. See you, that is the worst <clears throat> idea you've ever had. Yeah. Uh, how much time have we got, Guido? 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Why didn't you say something earlier? We were going to have to think fast. But then I remembered. Back in the first timeline, we kept an explosion out by covering up the villagers. Maybe this time, we can keep an explosion in by covering it as well. I don't want a face full of lava. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Guys, we need to gather enough rock to plug this volcano up. What do you say? That's it! We haven't got much time, so I need everyone on this! Including us? We know, we've done enough today. We can have a little bit of manual labor. Come on, come on, almost there! Ooh. Yeah! Woo! Let's hope we're not celebrating too early! Yeah! But what we hadn't realized was if all that lava could have come out from the top of the volcano, it would have to come out somewhere else. Locked the explosion at the top of the volcano. So the explosions were coming from underground instead. And they were so powerful, they started to cut the land into different pieces. Steve, I think we made it even worse. Yeah, but think about it, Guido. All those villages in those different biomes. This is how they were formed. They were part of the same original village. And then they got blasted apart. By us? Yeah, by us. Well done, my friends! You saved the day! Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I know we made a little bit of a mess, but this is much better than just letting everyone die from lava. Yes, I suppose so. Although now I've wasted all that money on a perfectly good coffin for no reason. Oh well, can't be helped. Anyway, I have something special we've been meaning to show you. Okay, Guido, this has got to be it. We're going to see our reward. I really hope this is worth it. Yeah, we've been through like four eras of villagers to get to this moment. No, not again. Not now. I was just about to get my reward. I've been waiting so long for this. Oh, dear. I'm starting to think they'll never get to see the museum we've been building. So that was the secret history of the Minecraft Dimensions first villagers. But in the end, we still had so many more questions. Who even built this museum anyway? 